Hello, it's Dr. Christine Arsenault, PharmD, Functional Medicine Certified Health Coach. And I wanted to talk about change today um, because I'm feeling a little anxious. I'm feeling a little uncomfortable because I'm in the process of moving. And it reminds me of that uncomfortableness I felt when I was in the process of growing and becoming a healthier version of myself and healing. Um, but it's not easy to sit in that discomfort. And there's a saying that you are either growing or dying. So we're always changing, we're always evolving, and we wanna make sure it's for the better. And so I'm in the middle of this move right now and it's feeling really un uncomfortable because it's been really stressful <laughs> for multiple reasons. Um, and now my car is all packed up. I'm heading out as soon as I'm done with this video. Um, I was planning on moving to the San Diego area and my places kept falling through and kept falling through. So now I'm actually going to wine country for a month and I'm just going to chill out and reassess my plan. So, um, yeah, my plans kept falling through to go down to San Diego and I took it as a sign from the universe. I was just having a lot of resistance. I was trying to find a place, trying to find a place, trying to make it work. Um, something fell through and I was stuck last minute. Uh, thanks, Chris. He says, good luck. Well, I did find a place. It's just that now I'm going to wine country instead of the ocean. Um, so it's kind of completely different than what I thought, but I'm also just listening to my intuition and I think just looking at some vineyards, some green rolling hills. Um, apparently that's what I need right now with this process in my journey and um, I'll have to figure out what comes after that. So things are a bit up in the air. Um, but this was similar to that uncomfortableness I felt when I was healing. I felt myself grow into a new person. Um, and it's really uncomfortable when that happens because if you're growing into a new person, then the old person is no longer relevant. It's no longer you. You literally have to leave that person behind to become a new person. So for me, I had to grieve that person. It was like, wow, I am never going to have Lyme disease again. Like, that's not my identity. I'm not a Lyme anymore. I can't identify with that because I am a healthy person now. I literally felt my cells change in my body. Um, I had, I would call it like a spiritual awakening in my healing. And things just clicked and I just knew I was healed and I just... I became aware of a subconscious belief that was holding me in those patterns that was keeping me sick. And I became aware of that thought and just becoming aware of it um, allowed me to let go of it and like just spontaneously heal. And so that's the cool thing with energy medicine. There's energy and there's matter and E equals MC squared. So energy, um, energy and matter equal each other. They're interchangeable. So wave, the wave function is the same thing as particle function and you can go back and forth. Um, so you can heal energetically, um, that, that energy can have effect on matter, not just matter that has an effect on matter. Um, so I had to grieve that old version. It was really, really sad, really uncomfortable because it's like this version of you that, you know, it's like you have dreams and goals and you work yourself up to something and you have a, a life that's good in many ways, but then you have to become a new person because we're always either growing or dying. So then you have to let go of that person even though they did have a lot of good things, um, you know, to, to give you that you learned from, like, as you grow and you change, you have to appreciate the things that you had, the things that you have become, and then let them go so that you can have even better, even more. Um, so yeah, uh, for me, I have again become a new person. Um, more so like with my career and professionally this time and just my identity and who I am and what I want to do in the world and how I want to show up. And so because of that, it's like, I just have to get out of this house now. I just, that's why I'm moving. I just need some new, not that I need new inspiration. I feel like my inspiration comes from within, but I just need a new scenery to really get to that, that spark that I have to really kind of dig deep. And so now I'm in the process of grieving this old house, this old life, uh, this beautiful view I have. Um, I'm not quite sure what's next for me, um, but I know that I need a change and 
I kind of just listen to my intuition and go with that. And this is something that's a little different for me because I'm very much a planner. Um, so to not have a place to live until last night at 9 p.m. was a little stressful for me. Um, but I found a place and now I'm saying goodbye to this house. I'm thanking it for all of the memories and I am just kind of allowing that energy to go through me. I'm allowing myself to feel the sadness. Um, it's a new chapter, but whenever there's a new chapter, there's also an end. And so you have to close out that end. And so, um, it's the same with, with Lyme disease, with healing, you have to kind of close out that chapter so that you are available for a new chapter of that healthy you. And you have to grieve everything that you lost. You know, I lost years and years of my life, or at least health, um, but you can't carry that with you. So you like, I know a lot of you have lost money, you've lost time, um, you've lost friends, you've, you know, maybe your job, all of these things. But at some point, in order to get better, you have to let go of all of that. Uh, you can't get that back. You can only go forward. And so I don't know exactly what's next for me, but I know I'm moving forward. I know that I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be in the universe. And I'm just going to kind of go with it. And so <sighs> taking time to say goodbye to this beautiful scenery. So I'm just going to leave you now with a um, couple minutes of looking out at the scenery here. And I will be sending out positive vibes as I do this. Um, just positive vibes out into the world. Um, sending you my healing love, uh, love and light to everybody. And I will um, have some new scenery with vineyards and such to show you um, in my next live, probably. So I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And here's just a little bit of the nature view.